Hello and welcome to English and News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. In the fourth phase of unlock, state government issued an order favoring commercial organizations. In this new order, odd even system now withdrawn for the firms and markets which are situated on both the sides of the road having dividers. At the same time, in small markets and roads without dividers will still need to follow or even rules till further notice. In addition to this, now establishment can remain open till 9 p.m. In an order release changing the fresh guideline for operating business, shops and establishments, now traders can operate their business on a regular basis. The establishments located on the both sides of the wide roads having dividers need not to follow or even rules henceforth. But the small markets and shops and firms located beside the road having no dividers still need to follow the ordinary rules. All the establishment can remain open till 9 p.m. now. Recently, a 16-year-old boy was hacked to death over a petty dispute by his friend. The incident occurred under the jurisdiction of Gittigadam police late on Tuesday night. The deceased has been identified as Aftab Khan and was a resident of Sai Niga near Kadi Masjid, Gittigadam, as per sources. He had a quarrel with another boy of the same age over some issue. On Tuesday night, the altercation turned ugly and the latter attacked the victim with a sharp weapon and inflicted severe injuries. Unable to withstand him, Aftab died on the spot. His father, Rafiq Khan Dilawar Khan, upon learning about the incident, lodged a complaint at the Tikhadal police station and gave details about the assailant. Police sub inspector Patle had registered a case of murder and a successful manhunt was soon launched to nab the juvenile murderer. After a heavy rain and huge water discharge from Madhya Pradesh, East Vidarbha was under flood situation and many villages drowned due to heavy discharge of water released from Totlado and Bench Dam earlier. Opposition leader and ex chief minister Devan Dupandavis made a visit to the affected area to take a view of the losses occurred due to heavy rain. On his visit to the affected areas around East Vidarbha, Devendra Fandavis assessed the loss, which is a huge in all manner. He also raised his dissatisfaction towards the approach of the administration and ruling state government, as relief has not been provided to the people who have gone under heavy losses due to the calamity. He also urged and demanded early compensation and a relief to the flood-affected people. Former Energy and Foster Minister Chandrasekhar Bhavan Kule and MLA Parine Phuke joined him in the march. Even during the trying times of the coronavirus pandemic, the ruling and opposition party are at a loggerheads over various issues. Most notably, the transfer of officials. On Wednesday, the leader of opposition, Devan the Fernandes, who visited the city, criticized the Mahavika Sagar regime and accused the Maharashtra government of being busy in transferring officers. While there were more serious issues to be addressed amidst the rising number of coronavirus positive cases and casualties in the city, NMC Commissioner. Tukaram Munde had also been transferred. Now the transfer of officers in the police department has also commenced. The state government has just transferred city police commissioner Dr. Bhushan Kumar Upadhyay and senior IPS officer Amitesh Kumar has taken over the reign of Nagpo City's police department. Well, that's all for this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take good care of yourself and your family.